Hey, the Woosuit family, it's Ryan here. As you can see, I've changed up the location a little bit. I'm wearing a hat in order to hide the fact that my hair and beard have gotten crazy long over the last like two and a half months. But I wanted to talk to you today about something that I feel super accomplished about. I changed my lawnmower's motor oil for the first time ever. Actually, I've never changed oil in a lawnmower before. I grew up and we just never seemed to address the fact that it was a motor that requires oil, we would just put gas in it and start cutting it. We wouldn't even really clean the underside of the deck. And so it's just not something I ever really thought about. But as I was looking at my lawnmower, I'm like, you know, I should probably take better care of it. So I used the internet to find out a little bit more of how to do a lawnmower tune-up at the start of the season, how you clean the deck and change the oil filters and change the spark plugs and change the oil and make sure that your gas is, is prepped for the whole season and even sharpening the blade. And while I have changed the oil and I looked at the filter and well, I haven't changed the spark plug yet, but the one thing that I still need to do is I'll need to take the blade off and sharpen it. So I bought myself one of these bad boys, a bench vise so that I can clamp the lawnmower blade down and file it down myself. But it's my first time buying one of these bad boys and I feel super adult now. I bought wire brushes and files in order to be able to clean the stuff. And the reason why I want to talk about this is while I was servicing the lawnmower, this was the first time that I realized that I was buying and using tools in order to service and do preventative maintenance on the other tools that I rely upon around the house. Instead of being disposable or just treating it as commodities, I'm trying to make it last and take care of it so that I can use it for years to come. Jim and I have talked about preventative maintenance before, both of your stuff and as well doing preventative maintenance in your own personal life, but I felt like this was a leveling up for me, you know, where I would use tools to do preventative maintenance on, you know, basic stuff. Now I'm doing preventative maintenance on the tools that I use to do preventative maintenance around the house. And so in some sense, I've leveled up my adulting skills. I'm now using meta skills in order to be able to do adulting tasks. I know it's really stupid when you frame it that way, but with everything that's going on right now, it's, it's all these little wins that you wanna do and working on these skills and stuff. And sometimes you just don't feel like working. Sometimes you don't feel like working on these skills, but other times when you level up your skills and you try new things and whatnot, it's worth celebrating. And so I wanted to talk about it with you today. But what about you? Do you have any of those level two adulting skills, those meta skills that apply to those level one adulting skills that you've come up with? I'm curious what you have to say. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I've worked up a bit of sweat working in the garden this morning. So it's time for me to go inside and shower and maybe get a bite to eat. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.